Hey, it's, uh, what's up, YouTube? Um, I got a little video here that... Apparently, I was looking on the internet about this, and... There's a program I kinda wanna show you. This tutorial is going to be on how to use this program. It's a... In fact, I've had this brought up to me a couple times, and I don't know where the frick it came from, but... Hey, crack think does things to people. Especially classmates. And this program is the Magical Cheat Engine 5.5. Woo. Um, I'm going to show you, this is in fact hacking, that's what was brought up, and apparently, like I said, crack does things to people, but who cares about them? They'll die in a hole someday, and hey, we'll be happy. Yes, that means you. You know who you are. Now, um, I'm going to show you how to use this program, and I'm going to show you, actually on an internet game, and with the multiply by 8, no, you don't have to do that. Uh, please, save yourself the trouble and frustration, and... Don't multiply anything. We're gonna let cheat him. This is the actual, um, you download this from, uh, I don't remember where you download it, just Google it. This is a magical search engine for a magical program, now get over it. Um, so, you just Google updated, like, recent cheat engine download or something like that, you probably get something, but, once you do and you get it set up, go to, try this on this game, Scared 3D Shooter. Um, you might have, uh, this also might detect it as a Trojan, it is not, because if it was a Trojan, I would have reset my computer by now. I'd be extremely mad, and almost throw a black flashlight, yes, the heavy flashlight, right through my computer screen. Yay, I know. I get so frustrated sometimes, especially after I crashed Doom 3, I was gonna punch my computer screen in. So, it's gonna look like a skip called Scared. Um, I'm gonna show you how you can use this. You need to understand how to use exact value. This game is going to be probably prove the easiest one to hack. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to window list. Uh, I know. Uh, it's good to have a scroll wheel too. Now, look up here. Uh, this little the window bar right here, and it should match this process. When you're in the window list, this is what makes it easier. Make sure this is the only one open, too, so it, ma it can actually make it easier to rule it out. Press open, and I'm go I probably will get an error message, but if you do, uh, it, like this one, for instance, no disk, uh, just hit continue, it's not going to affect anything. Uh, if it does, then you'll probably have to try, try to get um, Cheat Engine to go through your firewall. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go, I'm going to go a new game. Yeah. So. We're gonna actually, we're gonna modify the health and ammo, make it so you have unlimited. I have figured out the cheat for this game, and there's only one. <laughs> it's fairly simple. Uh, but I'm not, but we're gonna find a way around without cheat, and we're gonna hack it. So, we're gonna change our ammo first of all, so. Make sure this is on exact value, do not activate hex. Leave that off. Hit new scan, and wait for this to get done, and if you're, no, yeah, first scan. Wait for us to get done. If you have a relatively quick computer, like I do, it won't be that hard. It won't take as long as what I mean. Now, you'll get all these little values, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to waste one shot. Now, you may come up with like one or two. Test Most of the time, it's going to be the second one. I know when you're hacking Skull Tag and like Doom 2 and all, uh, it's most of the time uh, the second one, unless you have a weapon mod. Uh, hacking weapon mods is fun too, by the way. Anyway, hit next scan, and here you go. Now, how you're going to know this worked is because you're going to be able to do this. Th if it changes at all, any time, do not use that one, because most of the time, it is not going to be your right one. Let's change it to 999, and there you go. Like I, see? Like I said, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be, like, the most recent one. No, I mean the third one. Holy crap. I'm, ooh. Now, once you've changed that, uh, you want to maybe freeze it. I'll show you what happens. Yeah, now, you can also, this works on any game, and I think some computer programs too, by the way. Don't get any bright ideas and come back and blame me. It's not my fault. It's your fault. Now, anyway, you're going to enter the description so you'll know what it is. I'm going to change the description to unlimited ammo. And we're going to freeze it. What happens when you freeze it? That is how you make a cheat. Now, for your health, um, you're going to do this. You're going to do relatively the same thing. Just hit 100, new scan, 
first scan. Now you're gonna go get yourself hurt. Alright, now. Click off. Click off, it will say click to start. It'll pause it. Hit 81. Next scan. Remember, okay, this one you will get one value for because your health is the only value in the game, really. Change this one to 999 or whatever value you want. doesn't really matter. Magically delicious. Yeah, I heard that from somebody. God mode. Which, by the way, I do know the cheat for this game. There's only one. And I found it on accident. Now, as you can see, I'm going to take damage from that little robo-idiot out there. And let's see what happens. Oh my god. Freezing a value is fun. Yeah. It should work on almost every computer. Almost any game. Sometimes though it may not work. And it may, may require some extra working with it. Just don't get frustrated. Because eventually you will find a hack. And you can hack more than just ammo and crap. Like for RPGs especially. Some of them I know like Fantasy Star. I tried to hack that. And it has a the game guard thing is so gay. Because you can't, this is a memory editor, so basically what happens is it can detect it, and it will shut the game down or freeze it. That's what happened in my case, and it could also, I think, close the cheat engine, so make sure that what game you're you're hacking does not have a game guard thing on it, or a hack detector. Uh, most of the time, though, on like online games and crap, you could hack, but you could get banned. Uh, RuneScape is for fags, so who cares if you get banned from there, because if you play that game, you're a fag. Yeah, I know. I mean, aren't I? I love it. So anyway, basically that's how uh, the cheat engine works. Um, there's also more values I don't really know how to use, such as the... These are actually like the first scan, the second scan things, and I don't know how to use those, because I only read the first part of the tutorial. You scan, like, the bytes. I don't really know about that. Uh, unknown initial value. Don't want to know about that. Exact value is the easiest one to use, and I recommend you use it unless you're really good with this program. I'm not that good, but I'm good enough to know how to change crap around and to be able to make yourself like Jesus. Only a virtual version of him. I'm joking. Don't ever try to be like Jesus. He'll send you to hell. You don't want to go to hell. Hell is that place. I know. I see it. No, I'm joking. But seriously, though. Like... You can, it, it, it's a really good program to use, um, it also can lead to bigger and better things, but those bigger and better things can also be what we call illegal. So again, don't blame me if you do something stupid and you start with Cheat Engine, because honestly, Cheat Engine is a simple program to use, not a, you, at least it could be even worse. So yeah, that's how you'd use it to hack games and such. Online games, I know it definitely works with Doom 2, but it actually kind of glitches. And makes it so that you're not really wasting ammo, but at the same time you're not really shooting anything. I don't know, it's kind of like it shows a firing animation, but nothing happens. So, yeah, it's a null gun trick. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, uh, you know the drill. And as I referred to earlier, uh, yeah. If you wanted hacking, you got your hacking. Now leave me alone. So, yeah. Uh, remember... Don't have hex on unless there's something else. It, it's if it's a hexadecimal, which most that actually the only time you're gonna activate this, I believe, is if you got a decimal. I just making that up just now. So yeah. Um, I know I kind of dragged on, so I'm sorry for that. But other than that, though, uh, it'll basically it's just, this is all it is. You don't have to change anything down here. It just enter your values and pretty much scan around until you get a couple left and. Frank, just do whatever you want. RPGs, if this game works awesome with RPGs. Uh, haven't really tested it at all on an RPG game because, but I'm planning to. I also noticed that the sky textures, the skybox is looking a little bit like Doom 2 in a way. But yeah, other than that though, this program will work on a lot of games. Um, it's just that some of them are a lot harder to do than others, and I'm running around aimlessly. Yeah, but some games are more difficult to do than others. Uh, I know some of the game slot games are harder to do. Other than that, that's how it works, so... Yeah. And here comes the task of trying to shut Hypercam off.
Um. Yeah, that is the only thing I hate about Hypercam, is it is hard to turn off. So if you don't want to see me struggling to turn off Hypercam, please just quit the video now. <laughs> yep. See? Oh, I just gotta hit F2. Okay, well...